Let's go back to that moment in your life that was so pivotal to your early life when you mm -hmm. found as a boy, you found school bags in the attic. Yeah. And it piqued your interest, as it would do. Yeah, I had actually noticed them in the attic. I didn't live in the attic now, but uh, <laughs> I had noticed a couple of school bags in the attic previously. And when I was 10, 11, 12, I sat and opened them and there were, you know, cows, but they weren't in our family. And I don't know why, I sensed there was something unusual about them, and I asked my eldest sister about them. Yeah. Now, so she would have told me what was appropriate to tell an 11-year-old yeah. or whatever, that they had drowned, and she didn't go into huge detail. Yeah. But I had sensed it, because it was, it was strange in the family. I had Uncle Jimmy, I had aunties, but Uncle Jimmy wasn't my mother's brother or my father's brother. Yeah. And, I was, you know, I, I, I did wonder. And I don't know if a child can have that level of intuition at 11, but I just sensed, don't ask about it, I don't know why. And uh, so it transpired anyway. My father had been married before, married again. There were children from the first marriage. I was the first of the second marriage. And it was probably an Irish thing that my dad wanted. He wanted the family brought up as one, not stepbrothers and sisters, which, when I reflect on it now, at my age and having lived life, I liked. Yeah, it worked. They were my sisters and brothers. Of no course, one, yeah, of course. Was, and so we were never called by anybody stepbrothers. I, f I first heard that when I was about 18. Yeah. So anyway, Eileen told me a bit that they'd been drowned. And I kind of, at 11, 12, I knew something had happened. I just sensed it. And uh, so it made sense then why Uncle Jimmy was Uncle Jimmy. He was Uncle Jimmy because he was a brother of my father's first wife. So your father got married to his first wife. Yeah. And, and they had five children. Five children. You mentioned drowning. What happened? There was a dreadful tragedy. We're a County Clare family. They subsequently moved to Dublin for a new life. But back then, in the 50s, the mother brought my dad and the eldest, Eileen. She was doing the primary search, which was an exam every sixth class student in Ireland did at the time. It was kind of a judging you for sure. preparing you for secondary school. And my dad was the school principal overseeing it. So his wife brought the four other children to a lake near the house. And one of them got into trouble. One of the, a, a girl, her brother followed in, the mother followed in, and all three drowned. What a horrible story. Desperate tragedy. Yeah, I know. There's no, there's no sense in it. And, it, you know, no matter how many times you tell a story, it doesn't get easier or it doesn't make it more possible for you to tell the story. I can see you're, well, it's upsetting, but it, it, it's... it's uh... No, you know, it's, it's awkward. It wasn't my tragedy. Well, it was in a way, because they, they would ultimately be your well, family. It became, it became my it life, did. but I feel bad. It was... I feel bad for them. Yeah. And obviously in writing this, and I discussed it with the family, and, mm. and uh, it's easy for some to discuss it, and, and it, can't have, it can't have been easy. And the, the school bags were the... The, the children, to the poor yeah, children yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that died in that accident. Yeah.